Today, we've got some exciting news about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6. We've recently seen the first glimpse of the outer display, and now we've got even more juicy details to dive into. So let's jump right in. Just a few days ago, Twitter user Ali shared the first render of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Ali's render highlights some subtle yet significant changes compared to its predecessor, the Galaxy Fold 5. According to Ali, the Fold 6 is a bit shorter and wider than the Fold 5. The bezels remain the same size, but the edges are now squared off, giving it a fresh new look. What do you think about these new renders? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's talk about the hands-on and first look of the Z Fold 6. The same source, Ali, posted the first live look of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Check out this photo. Remember, if this isn't the actual device, it's a dummy unit found on a Korean forum. While the accuracy of this dummy unit is still up for debate, it's exciting to see how the front screen of the Fold 6 might look. Ali didn't stop there. Today, he posted two more photos showing the Z Fold 6 dummy while unfolded. The square edges create a noticeable difference and the slightly shorter but wider inner screen gives it a distinct look compared to the Fold 5. What do you think about this first live look of the Z Fold 6? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. Moving on to some exciting benchmark news. Rumors have been circulating that Samsung will use the same chip for all versions of the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. Now, we've got more proof that this is true. The international version of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has appeared on Keepbench, showing as the same hardware as the US version. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 for the USA with the model number SMF956U was benchmarked earlier this month. This was the first time the Galaxy Z Fold 6 appeared online, and its early benchmark results were impressive. Now, the international version of the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which Samsung will release in Europe and other countries, has appeared on the same online benchmark. One unusual thing about this new Geekbench entry for the SMF956B is the benchmark score. The international model scored considerably lower than the US version, around 500 points less in single-core tests and nearly 50% less in multi-core tests. Don't let this gap in benchmark scores confuse you. It's not uncommon for pre-release devices to show differences in scores, which is why we often say that benchmark scores, especially for unreleased phones, aren't very reliable. Many factors could have influenced these scores and they don't necessarily reflect the performance of the Qualcomm chip. So let's wait for the official release before making any judgments. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on the Galaxy Z Fold 6? Are you excited about these new changes in features? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more updates. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retaining colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. 
We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple 18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max could finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.